Hope you are all ready for a fantastic Friday. Um, I have your fluency problem up here, but before um, I get started, I'm going to ask you, where do you think teachers would like to go for a vacation destination? Where would a teacher want to go for a vacation destination? So, uh, I'll get to that at the end of this lesson. What I want you to do right now is to look at this fluency problem and decide what um, strategy you want to use, mental math, vertical method, or place value points. I want you to go ahead and work the problem out. And then I want you to uh, come back. Okay, that's what coach says, okay. <laughs> All right, so I hope you have solved this problem um, on your own. And now we'll be looking at it together. So we are starting out with our hundreds, tens, and ones. We've got three hundreds, eight tens, and four ones. And then we are going to be combining two hundreds, six tens, and five ones. Okay, so when we look at the ones place, we see that we have four and five. And we cannot make a 10 with that. We do not have enough to make a 10. When we combine four plus five, we get nine because four plus five equals nine. Now here we see our eight tens and our six tens. We can make a hundred. Out of, we can get 10 tens pulled together and make 100. So we're going to do that. We're going to wrap these, circle around these eight. Eight plus two is 10, so we've got to get two more. I made that a little big. These four are out. So we've got 10 in the, um, in the circle plus these four, that is 14. And eight plus six equals 14. So in the ones place, or tens place, excuse me, because this is 14 tens, not 14 ones, 14 tens, we're gonna show that we have four tens, and then we're gonna show that we created a hundred and moved it over there to the hundreds place. So here's my four tens going into the tens column. And then I'm going to put my hundred that I made over here with the other hundreds so that we know we don't want to leave him behind. You know, can't, can't leave a man behind. Oh, that's terrible. Sloppy. So now we can combine our hundreds coins. One, two, three, four, five, six. And sure enough, one plus three is four plus two more is six. I make a separation there. I got those two close. So our answer is 649 um, for this fluency problem. Now, we're going to take our whole 649 because we took our two parts and we made a whole. And let's take away the top part. We look in the ones column here, we have nine, and we want to take away four or cross out four. Now we can do that, we can do that. So we just would, if we had our place value coins, we'd imagine ourselves crossing out four, or we would think about what nine take away four is, and nine take away four is five. Now here we have four tens, and we need to cross out eight or separate eight of them. We can't do that, can we? Because four, you cannot subtract eight. You can't do that. And so you should be able to imagine those four place value coins and you should be able to see that in your head if you've been drawing those place value coins out. So I'm going to come over here and I'm gonna get a hundred. I have six hundreds right now. Do I still have six hundreds? If I take one away, what do I have left? I'm gonna have five left because the other uh, 
one of the hundreds is going to be taken over to the tens place, broken apart into ten tens. So I'm going to show those ten tens right over here by the four tens. That is going to be 14. 14, if I cross out 8, 14 take away 8 equals 6. 5 take away 3 equals, or 5 hundreds, this not gets messed up with that, 5 hundreds take away 3 hundreds is leaving us 2 hundreds. And so we came back over here to our other part. And that means we've done all our addition and subtraction correctly. Now, the next thing I would like to do is the um, application problem on page 85 in your learn book. And I want you to put your finger on the first word with me, just like always. Rick is filling his muffin pan with batter. Batter is the, the mix whenever you come together and you put flour and sugar and eggs all together. That's called a batter. It's not baked yet, so that's why you, they're not really muffins yet, but you've got all the stuff there. And after you bake them, they'll be in a muffin. But before they're baked, they call that the batter. So Rick is filling his muffin tins with batter. So he is going to fill two columns of four, and one column of four is going to remain empty. So uh, it tells us to show the muffins in the empty column and to write a repeated addition sentence to tell how many muffins Rick makes. Okay? So we need to write a sentence that's going to answer that question. How many muffins did Rick make? Okay? Rick made blank muffins. Eventually, we're going to find the number that goes in there, but that's the whole, part, pro, whole point of this problem is for us to find out how many muffins Rick made. So let's go back and read to the first part together. Rick is filling his muffin pan with batter. So he's got his muffin pan there. And we know that these, this pan has columns. Columns, they go up and down, has columns of four. That means every column is going to have four in it. So here's his first column. Okay. And here is his second column. Notice I'm going down. So he fills two columns of four, but apparently he has another column, but he's going to leave that empty. But it tells us to draw his muffin pan. So I am going to draw those circles that he would that could fill up, but he didn't. He didn't fill those up. So we've got three columns of four here. So he fills two columns. I'm going to make a little scribble to show. Column one is filled. Column two is filled. So that's his muffins, uh, tins with batter in it. And these are the empty ones. It says draw to show the muffins and the empty column. Here's our empty column. He doesn't have any batter in that. So next it says to write a repeated addition sentence to tell how many muffins Rick makes. Well, there's four in this column plus these four. And of course, Mrs. Snyder knows all her students, all my students know their doubles. Four plus four is eight. Rick made eight muffins. Okay. So, um, I am going to um, review with you the next, well, I think is what I'll do is I'll start that next week. But for absolute certain, I only want you to do page 87 of your problem set. Okay, only do page 87. I have looked at the back on page
page 88. And, you know, honestly, that's just not something that second graders need to know how to do. It's taking things to the next level, but it, it is more likely to confuse a second grader than it is to challenge a second grader. And then, um, and this is not, it's not what your, your exit ticket asks you to do. So when you do the lesson um, with a man and, and I, I'm going to start working on my own lessons instead of having him teach you. Uh, do page 87. So where does every teacher want to go for their vacation destination? The answer is Times Square because, you know, teachers, teachers like multiplication. And I thought that was a great way to end our week since we've been learning the foundations of multiplication this week. And I hope you have a fabulous Friday. Yeah, I do. Talk to you later.